So the first thing that we're going to look at in our Canvas courses is the settings. And we're going to update some of those general settings and some of the navigation to make things a little bit simpler for you and your students. So here is a um, sample Canvas course that I was provided for this professional development. And once you are um, in your course, and just kind of as an update or as a side note, when you first get into Canvas, you are going to see what is called your dashboard. And so it kind of looks like a gauge in a car. And you'll see announcements up at the top that are posted, and then you'll have um, links to all of your courses. Sometimes the announcements get super long, and you don't actually like want to see the announcements. You can close them, but you can't get those announcements back. But um, I like to see my courses here. You can also navigate to your courses over here on the left by choosing courses. And then you have a link here to see past courses. You go to all courses and you can find past enrollment courses from previous years. So I'm going to go into the Counselor PD and I want to change up this navigation on the left hand side of my screen. And you will notice that some of these have little eyeballs that are crossed out and it says that there's no content here, so it's not visible to students yet. So this announcements, assignments, they're actually something that students would be able to see if you had things posted in them. And then there are going to be some that have an eyeball that you want specifically hidden. You don't want students to ever see that. And so to do this, to organize this navigation, you're going to go down to settings down at the bottom of this big long list. And then you're going to go to navigation. And what I recommend having turned on for students, what will be visible for students, we're going to leave in this top area up here. Then down below, are items that you want hidden from students that you don't want on the course homepage. So there are a huge amount of tools up here. You really don't need most of them. I would definitely have announcements left on up at the top. Assignments, it's up to you, and we'll talk about that. I'm going to leave assignments on for right now, but you may decide you want assignments turned off later because you're utilizing modules. Discussions you might want to leave on if you want to have students interacting and having discussions with each other. Grades, you're not going to have it, any grades for this course. So if I click on the three dots to the right, I can disable and it will move it to the bottom. People allows you to see all of the students in the course. It also allows other students to see other students in your course. So I like to turn this off in my classes you will still be able to access people, but your students will not see it. So I'm going to disable that. I'm going to leave pages. I'm going to get rid of files, syllabus, outcomes. Basically, I'm getting rid of most of everything here. I am leaving modules. I'm going to get rid of quizzes, conferences, collaborations, chat. You do not want students to chat with each other when they're in here because it gives them basically a free unsupervised chat room. I am turning pretty much everything else off. You could also drag it and move it down to the bottom, which might be quicker. So what I'm leaving is announcements, assignments, discussions is a maybe, um, pages is a yes, syllabus is a yes, or sorry, syllabus is a no, modules is a yes. Now, I like to place my assignments in modules, so I personally turn assignments off. So you're going to see that um, as we're going today, but you could always go back and change this. What you do need to make sure that you do is go all the way down to the bottom and say save. Now there's one other thing I want to change in this course. So I'm going to go to course details, the tab here on the left, and in the course details, I am going to scroll to the bottom. And I'm going to click on more options. Now, you will not have in your course, I'm pretty sure, will not have the option to allow students to self-enroll. That's just here so that you can enroll in this PD course. But, um, so you're not going to have add a joint course link. 
But what I would change is I would want you to have your notifications or your announcements that you create show up on your home page. So I'm going to turn that on and you can choose how many you want listed on your home page. I, in my personal classroom, use three. You might want more or less. Just know that it's going to take up a lot more space at the top of your home page. Now, if I have discussions for my students, do you want them to attach files? Sure. Do you want students to create their own discussion topics? That's something to think about. I don't necessarily trust my students um, to create their own discussion topics because who knows what they're going to do. So I turn that off. I do allow students to edit or delete their post if I do have a discussion going, but I do not let my students organize their own groups in the class. You're not gonna have them be um, really doing group assignments. So I would have that turned off. Now you're not doing any sort of grades, but you may be creating assignments and if you want them posted to monitor their progress or if they've completed things, you might give it a points value. So I would turn off high totals and student grade summary and high grade distribution from students. So I would have those checked. And on the announcements, if you want your students to be able to add comments, you would um, leave this unchecked. However, all students can see all of the comments and you don't know if your students are going to be writing appropriate or inappropriate things. So I tend to turn off the comments, disable comments on announcements, and just tell the students if you have questions about the announcement, send me an email. So this is what I would recommend for your check boxes. And then you're going to say update course details. Then I'm going to go back over here on the left to home to go back to my course homepage. 